Captain's Log. Stardate, hmm, Tuesday. We have been travelling on this mission for nearly five years, and are starting to run drastically low on basic supplies and amenities. Cabin Boy Edson has started leaving small deposits in his own underwear in order to try and save on supplies. However, many of the crew are finding this unbearable, and are threatening that they cannot manage to go on any longer. Dr. Lewis Bones insists he's a doctor and not a bricklayer. He says he's never seen such a bad case of the Klingons. This being the case, I've arranged a rendezvous with the Klingon ambassador in order for us to swap supplies. They have promised they will supply us with ultra-soft double-quilted toilet paper in exchange for all the Whitby outtakes they can ever want. I hope that this will solve our problems and allow Captain Boy Edson a sound night's sleep. Until this exchange can happen, I will return to my quarters for some light television watching. Twenty-eight-year-old Sarah is a full-time photography tutor, but she makes time in her busy schedule to dance and sing. She's had quite a difficult X Factor journey, but she's made it down today to perform for us. Right, so here I am, I've actually managed to get hold of Sarah, so we're going to have a quick word to see why she came down today. Sarah. Hi, Dermot. Hi, nice to meet you. Do you want to uh, explain to us, you know, why you came to the X Factor today, and of course for the people at home? I understand it's something to do with flash dance mm. at Christmas. It's quite emotional actually, Dermot, because it was one Christmas and I um, decided to like put my dancing and singing skills into sure. action and sure. was just doing the, the routine at the end, you know, the one where, you know, she's spinning around mm. and I spun too far, too hard. It's really good though. Was it good? It was good, yeah. Okay, and tell us what happened. I just... Oh. Tell us what happened. We want to know what happened. Come on, it's okay. I can't. Yeah, it's okay. A flash danced in his face. Kicked. Flaming Sambuca. Spun. Flaming Sambuca in his face. Okay. And he's and blind. And so I'm here today to sing for my dad. Okay, what, what are you hoping to say? He can't see me anymore, but he can hear me. And that's, that's, well, that's, that's a good the thing. dream. He that's can a good hear thing, me. yeah. You can hear me well, still sing. I'm sure you'll make him proud. Thanks, Dermot. Okay, best of luck. I, I will. Hello. 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 Do you want to uh, just stand on the X log? I'm so nervous. Really nervous. Deep breath. <sighs> I love you, Simon. What's your name? Sarah. Okay, Sarah. Where are you from? Grimsby. From Grimsby? Okay. And what gives you the X log? My students, my mum, my dad, brothers and sisters, everybody, everyone who I perform for says, I've got the voice, I've got everything. Okay, and what song are you going to sing for us today? I'm going to do um, Britney Spears, Baby One More Time. Okay, excellent, in your own time. There's some chorus for when you're ready. My loneliness is killing me and I, I must confess, I still believe, I still believe When I'm not with you I lose my mind Give me a sign Hit me baby one more time Time, time, time Um, who told you you could sing? Me mum and me dad Are they deaf? You were out of tune, you were out of time Britney Spears had probably just killed herself I've been having lessons and my coach says, I am, I'm, I'm ready for this time and I am ready. Danny, Sharon, what do we think of that? Well, must have been a basketball coach because that was not a vocal coach, that was way out of tune. No, honestly, I, I promise you, I'm nervous. Have you got any other talents? Actually, 